The banana made my coffee. It's OMG so good. Hey, that, what is that? Hold on, he has a person. Something just happened to my saint's clock. Like, all of a sudden, the minute hand flew backwards. What? Look, it's off. That's not the right time. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, yeah, my Benoni has a first name. But this is the banana made my coffee. Yeah. And she did such a good job. And I'm shopping. Yeah. The return of an old breakfast favorite, the omelette. This one, I beat the eggs with some red peppers and spinach, and I stuffed it with one piece of pepper jack cheese. Spicy. Another sucker designed by the youngin. This is called Claw Punch because it is kitty cats. And it's like a dum-dum covered with candies and other things. Actually, it's, it was about that. But when I started, it was about that big. That big. And so it's built up on it. Munching a little baby apple. And about to make lunch. Some steamed broccoli. And a turkey sausage. Oh my gosh. So... I always thought that this car didn't have a gas light. Like, it's got a little picture of a gas thing right next to it. Look how big the poof is. My breath has come undone. Wow, that's some serious hair there. Anyway, um, this car, like, has a little picture of a gas thing right next to Jesus. That's huge. What the hell is my hair doing? Look at that. That's like inches. That's insane. Okay, I need to stop. What the fuck am I saying to you? Oh, gas. Yes. Bad words. I'm a sailor. Gas. Gas. I always thought I didn't have a gas light like, that was like, hey, get gas. But I do. And I just figured that out because I totally forgot that I needed gas. Stop, on you jerk. That dude just flew through a stop sign. Gas. Oh yeah, I forgot I need gas. And it's lit up now, so I have a gas light. Having some kettle corn, watching a shit of a game, and uh, the bananas hula hooping. Oh, oh, I like it! Sushi to go while we're watching Green Bay kick ass. I do not like that. I I am out of skinny cow and having a bluebell. So, this is me. It's actually Monday morning. And you're about to see something you usually don't get to see. Because usually you see it later on. You're about to see me video vlog vlog real quick ready hold on <laughs> having my coffee in this beautiful little cup taking a video of myself making a video wrap up for the day before because I'm behind and uh, yeah look how clean my cup is Okay. What was that all about? What are you doing? Why are you wrapping up today on yesterday? And tomorrow? Today? And tomorrow? Whatever. Because this is going to be the video vlog for, um, look at this piece of hair. Keep it out. Okay. This is going to be the video vlog for Sunday. Did my food. It was a good day. Um, yeah. It was a good life day too. I've been making the effort to take the children outside, even though it's freezing. We only did 20 minutes, um, but, I mean, that's more than I could even stand to be out there. I was like, uh. And then, you know, it's funny, as I looked this up, because I was just like, I wonder if your, like, basal metabolic rate goes up in the winter since you're cold. 
And not like, ooh, I wonder if I can have a, you know, grilled cheese every day because of that. Just, it was just a really a thought, you know, now that I pay attention to everything about my body, it was a thought. And I was like, hmm. And I looked it up, and they were like, rarely are you so cold that you're shivering. And shivering's what really does it. Uh, excuse me. I'm so cold, I'm shivering, like all the time. Even when it wasn't cold outside, I would shiver inside. Like, okay. Anyway, so, whatever. The answer is yes, it changes, but so slight, it doesn't really matter. And, um, one time I had a friend who I love, um, call me. It's so funny, because I am so not the voice of reason, like, normally. Or, growing up, and like in my 20s, I was not the voice of reason. But now it's like, I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Like, y'all don't. Well, I, to, I keep telling you guys one day I'm going to put out the seven shades of crazy that I am. But like, it would just take so much time. But I'm a flipping nut, okay? So, like, anxiety. I'm like, what's wrong? Something's wrong. Something's, oh my God, I'm feeling creepy. You know, and um, worry and stress. And like, all of my illnesses, they are real, legitimate, physical illnesses, but stress makes them worse. And knowing that, I still have the hardest time trying to decompress. So, like, I am not, but for some reason, people in my life come to me with issues, and I can fix them. And I'm like, how the hell can I fix you? But I'm still, whatever. So, she calls me. She's been doing this weight loss thing. She is an inspiration to me. She lost, um, I think she's, I think her highest weight was around 290, and she lost her 100 pounds over about two or three years, and she's now, like, like around 150 pounds, so, she, I mean, she's just an amazing girl, but she was like, hey, uh, you know, I hear this. If you're cold when you exercise, you burn more calories because you have to warm up. Like, if you get into, like, ice water first. And I was like, ah, uh, well, one, I can guarantee that the amount of cal calories is negligible. Two, you're going to hurt yourself if you ice your muscles and then work them out. And three, would you really work out if you had to ice yourself first? She was like, nope, guess not. Cool, glad we talked about it. Well, the reason I brought that up is because what they said is that you do not burn more calories working out in cold weather, even if it is so cold that you're shivering. Because after the initial warm-up period, it's the same. So you go out and it's cold and you start to run only during those few minutes before your body warms itself by running are you actually burning a different amount of calories. and those calories are so minuscule that they don't even really count. So, there you go. I was like, oh, we are not icing ourselves just to work out. You already a damn mind. She also called me one time about pills. And I was like, uh, if we can't do it our whole entire lives, we're not doing it. Because we are not gaining back this weight. So, we got to do shit the way we can do it our whole lives. Because we're not gaining back this weight. So, that's been the truth um, about this whole entire thing. Which is why I only work out three times a week. Like, I only hold myself three times a week. Because, like, it's so funny. I have in scrapbooks. I love to scrapbook. I will show you guys. I real love, quick. love, love to scrapbook. But, I'm kind of bent on this whole, like, scrapbooking has to go in order. And if I miss an event, I can't scrapbook the next couple. So. What I learned was that, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in 2012 and scrapbook once a month. Like, a page for every month, right? That's my goal. But here's the deal with that. Like, I know for me, working out three times a week and keeping that goal going and haven't done it, it makes it, like, more likely that I'm going to do it. So if I would have been like, I'm going to work out ten times this week and then missed it, I probably wouldn't have built off of it. Look, let me just show you guys. 
work. Don't too bad then fly all the jazz stuff. And let's see, I got better. Oh. That's the movies. Wait, where is it? That was the youngest. No, right here. How can I get that to look at you? Oh, there you go. The youngest first movie ever. And that was like our favorite Chinese restaurant. Actually, it wasn't because it was really not as good as it looked. We wanted it to be our favorite because it was such a cool place. But the food wasn't very good. But anyway, um, let me see. Let me find a particularly good one. Um, okay, we'll do Halloween. Happy Halloween. I made all those little pieces. So I love, I love to scrapbook. But then I stopped doing it because I started missing dates. So this year, I'm starting over 2012. And I'm hoping that by doing the 2012, I'll start um, wanting to do the older ones just out of order. So I'm very, very excited by all of that. Anyway, alright, I just dropped up Sunday now, I'm going to load it.